Losing belly fat is often challenging due to the nature of the fat stored in the midsection, which differs from fat stored elsewhere in the body. This fat, known as visceral fat, accumulates when certain hormone levels are elevated, unlike subcutaneous fat, which increases with an overall surplus of energy intake. However, visceral fat can be reduced by making specific dietary and lifestyle adjustments without necessarily cutting calories. This essay outlines 10 strategies for reducing visceral fat effectively. Firstly, eliminating sugary beverages from one's diet is crucial. Fructose, the primary sugar in sodas, is more prone to being stored as visceral fat since it must be processed by the liver. In contrast, glucose, which does not require liver processing, is more likely to be stored as subcutaneous fat. Sugar-sweetened drinks, such as sodas, contribute significantly to the high fructose intake, enabling excessive consumption of this sugar. Thus, by removing sodas from the diet, reductions in visceral fat can be observed swiftly. Secondly, being judicious about carbohydrate intake can significantly impact visceral fat reduction. While reducing carbohydrates overall is beneficial, complete elimination is unnecessary. Carbohydrates stimulate insulin production the most among macronutrients, and high insulin levels are associated with insulin resistance and visceral fat accumulation. Therefore, managing carbohydrate intake to maintain lower insulin levels is essential. For instance, pairing carbohydrates with protein and fat, such as eating a banana with peanut butter, can slow digestion, reduce blood sugar spikes, and consequently, decrease the insulin required. Incorporating apple cider vinegar before meals is another effective method. Vinegar improves cellular sensitivity to insulin, allowing more glucose uptake with less insulin. Adding one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to a glass of water before meals is a simple and cost-effective way to achieve this. However, it is advisable to avoid apple cider vinegar gummies and capsules, as they are less effective and may contain added sugars. Prioritizing sleep is perhaps the most critical step in this process. Insufficient or poor quality sleep raises insulin and cortisol levels, both of which contribute to visceral fat buildup. Maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, aiming for at least 8 hours of sleep, and minimizing evening exposure to blue light from devices can enhance sleep quality and regulate hormone levels. Supplementing with inositol can also help reduce visceral fat. Inositol, found in foods like citrus fruits, is naturally produced by the body but may be insufficient in some individuals. Supplementing with inositol has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity and reduce visceral fat. Products like the Gets Asin from So Well Health, which combines two types of inositol with vitamin D and folate, are particularly beneficial. Skipping meals or intermittent fasting is another effective strategy. Fasting lowers insulin levels, improving insulin sensitivity and reducing visceral fat. Extending the overnight fasting window by delaying breakfast or having an earlier dinner can significantly impact visceral fat levels. A fasting window of 12 to 16 hours daily is typically effective. Engaging in high-intensity interval training HIT, or sprinting is highly beneficial but may not be feasible for everyone. Sprinting triggers the release of hormones that target visceral fat, and even one session per week can be impactful. However, adequate recovery time between sessions is essential to maximize benefits. Reducing alcohol consumption is critical, as excessive alcohol intake is closely linked to increased visceral fat. Alcohol, like fructose, is processed by the liver, and its excess consumption leads to fat accumulation in the midsection. Reducing alcohol intake can significantly decrease visceral fat levels. Quitting smoking is another vital step, as smoking is associated with higher visceral fat levels. This indicates that lifestyle factors beyond the diet and exercise significantly influence fat distribution. Finally, increasing the intake of stearic acid, a type of saturated fat found in animal fats like tallow, ghee, and butter, and in some plant fats like cacao butter, can help reduce visceral fat. 
Replacing vegetable oils with these fats can boost stearic acid intake and promote visceral fat loss. Implementing even a few of these strategies can lead to noticeable reductions in visceral fat. Each method contributes uniquely to improving hormone regulation, insulin sensitivity, and overall metabolic health, making them valuable tools in the pursuit of a healthier midsection.